Hey guys, Dave here. So Team Venom did it. Viper 1 for the HTC One. They came out with a epic ROM. So much on this ROM. When you get a new phone and you get it rooted and you get to install ROM, you have to give up the fact that your old phone was set up to a perfect ROM that gave you so much option. Now you have to wait till it gets to that point again. They got it there. So a couple options they have on here is Venom Tweaks, Venom Pi, Venom Hub, Venom OTA, Venom Super User, Venom File Manager, Venom Theming, Venom CPU Manager, Venom Kernel Manager, Venom Button Manager, Venom Package Installer, Venom Download UI, Venom Three Finger Gesture, Venom Horizontal Vertical Extended Quick Setting. And it's an Aroma Installer. Let's dive into it. So guys, I'm gonna go over this ROM as quickly as possible, but get over as many features as I can. Uh, be sure to comment and let me know if I've gone to miss any major features because I want to uh, include it where I can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because if I don't get it in this one, I'll get it in the next. All right, so the uh, HTC One, this is the Viper One ROM. Um, pull down notification here, we'll start off. We got Venom Tweaks right at the front. I love these little setup here. It's got a ton of different quick settings here. Not only that, but if I zoom in here, sorry, you will see that it has a core 0, 1, 2, and 3. And those cores will change depending on how much of the, right there you can see all four are being used. Um, and it'll show when they're idle and everything. So you can actually see how fast your uh, stuff's processing. So I'll just go show you these real quick. This is Venom Tweaks profile uh, this 10 minutes is actually showing when it'll time out so I'll go ahead and actually you have always on 15 30 1 2 10 always on for now I guess I'll go ahead and leave it a little high um, then you got your brightness this actually comes with five settings as you can tell it's pretty bright right now I'll go ahead and go through that's four that's five super bright going blurry and then automatic whereas you can tell it kind of gets pretty dim I gotta set back to one, makes it a little easier to record. Flashlight has three settings right from there. Rotation, airplane mode, Wi-Fi mode, network mode, um, LTE, so you can turn on and off your LTE. Maybe you can save yourself some battery there. Mobile network, hotspot, sync, Bluetooth, GPS, silent mode, vibration mode, wireless ADB, task manager, you can get to from right there. Uh, it says X loud, so I guess you can make your speaker a little louder there. Reboot, power saver, and NFC. Turning that on and off. So, uh, tons of options. Okay, getting into more. Quick settings. Uh, you still have your basic quick settings here. You can, if you want to get through to them, you can change them out here just like you normally would. Um, I guess the only thing I was just noticing is you can have more than 12. You can actually have 22. That's pretty cool. That's the first run where I've seen you can actually have that many. So let's get a quick look at what that's like. Quick settings. There you go. So you can actually scroll up and down it. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. We can get into our back to our first screen there. Uh, time and all that stuff works the same. Something I thought was pretty cool here is if you hit the home key, uh, it'll actually take you to... Let me see here. So if I slide this over... Go here, hit home, actually take me back to that page. If I hit home again, it'll take me to this page. So that initial home will actually take you to whatever page you were just on. Back out here. So again, if you hit the home page, if you're on uh, the where all your apps are, hit home, it'll take you back to whatever page you were on. So uh, getting into the apps here, uh, a couple of these I have installed. Um, Actually, I can even remove some of these just because it just takes up some room. Okay, so calculator, calendar, camera. Camera works good. Um, it's a normal camera. Uh, car clock, Dolphin I've installed, downloads, Dropbox already came. ES File Explorer. I thought it was weird it comes with ES File Explorer and it comes with File Explorer, Venom's File Explorer, which that one's actually pretty cool. The way that it, uh, it actually can just browse for each of those individual files. It's a little hard to see because of the uh, brightness, but you got music videos and it actually breaks down a bit of focus in how many actually are in each um, of those options. So, 
I get zoomed up here. Okay, so this is just the the browser. It's got the actual files you can get to FTP server. Okay, so that's File Explorer. Or I'm sorry, uh, Venom file. Uh, Gallery is the same. Flashlight, FM, all that. It's got Gmail, all your Google. It's got the Hangout. Uh, this comes with kid mode. I'll get in a little bit into that later. Kroger's, I installed that. Uh, maps, messages, music, parent dashboard, same thing as kids mode, uh, part of it. Uh, it's got a photos here, uh, play store, that works the same. Players 5 office, it's got Scribble on there if you know about Scribble. Uh, the side panel, that was a program I had a little problems with. Maybe it's a bug, maybe they have a fix on their actual uh, page. But I do know once I pulled this up that anything I clicked on, came up with an error and it says it has small managers has stopped. So they probably have a fix on their website for that or maybe it's in the next update being fixed. But I haven't gotten that to work for me. It's got SoundHound on it. Super user is a Venom uh, super user. Uh, it's got Task Manager. I installed that Thor thing. Titanium Backup. This one came with it. That's pretty cool because they don't always come. You got to download it anyway so forth so on. Uh, it's got Twitter. It's got Venom Hub. Venom Tweaks. Um, YouTube. Okay, Venom Tweaks. There is no way to get over all of this. If you want to buy the Pro to help them out, uh, that'd be great to donate for that. It also, I think, takes away from uh, that countdown that you have to wait to get in. Um, from this point, this is just the about. You got the status bar. All this involves just options with the status bar. As you can tell there, lots of options. And then the sense. All these options give sense. I would go over these guys, but I would literally need a couple hours. I can't can't go over all this. And I've read through some of it, and some of it I get, some of it I don't. Uh, colors, just the random colors throughout the uh, phone that you can change. So you can really customize your own uh, phone apart from everybody else's. Uh, lock screen, more options just through the lock screen. Um, and buttons, uh, three finger gestures, and what do you do when you take back and take a picture, and all that kind of stuff. Again, guys, I wish I could go over all this stuff, but there's just so much. Um, it's telling you here to activate how to activate the pie, and then what you do, how do you actually get it to go out? I just uh, venom pie activation zones. So up, down, left, to right. Experiment with other settings, colors. As you can see, it's pretty cool. Nice red one down there. They actually give you some walkthrough here, which is very handy. Okay, so that's the pie options, and they even have a pie tutorial. So once you actually turn that on, then you have these options. Okay, go back into the tutorial. I almost hit that button. Okay, so anyways. That's all pie options. You got miscellaneous, power menu items, <laughs> fake IMEI, CRT options, flash duration, button timeout. I mean, the ability <laughs> to customize your phone is insane. Uh, here's where you can get into some of your CPU uh, governing and even the kernel options. Um, so yes, Viper Tweaks, it seems like it is fairly endless with as much as you can do on there. Um, messaging is the same, works the same, looks the same. Uh, however, Google Hangouts is being updated, as you've seen from my other one, to have it to where your SMS comes through here. Um, so you can actually see all the different ones you got on there. Uh, let's see what else I got on here. Camera. That's pretty much about it, I guess. I know I'm probably missing something. Like I said, they have all the different things I'd mentioned right at the beginning. Um, and there's so many options here. I want to go over them all, but this video is already getting long. I'll try to edit to keep it short. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. It always helps. Leave me some comments. Hit that like button. Greatly appreciated. And see you guys next time.